Is this a vlog? Uh, I'm not sure. I want to include like some pieces where I talk or random things that are part of my life, but also making sure that I covered the topic, the thing you're interested in, like the reason why you click to watch this video. It's not just that I would like you to get to know me, it's more something like I show you that when you have a camera and you start filming, you can have so much fun. So I'm in this park today, you know, some fresh air, and I think I shouldn't be wearing this jacket. It's a little bit too hot. By the way, it feels so good like to be in the fresh air, you know, it's just like awesome. In this video, I want to show you very quick the Sea Log and Sea Log 3. What's up guys, Nemfurlani here and welcome back to a new video. If you're new to this channel, there's one thing you need to know. I make videos with and about the Canon 90D, the Canon EOS R, the Canon M50 and the Canon R6. This one, filming right now. So, what do I talk about today? Well, when we shoot using a Canon EOS R, we have some great option, which is C-Log. And when we shoot in C-Log, we have different options. First thing to say is that on the Canon R6, we do have two different C-Logs. One is the regular C-Log, and the other one, C-Log 3. Honestly, I don't understand why we don't have C-Log 2 on, in the Canon R6, but that's a different story. That'd be the topic for a different video. In this one, I just wanna show you what happens when we shoot in C-Log and when we shoot in C-Log 3. And for these samples, I'm gonna show to you in 4K60. Let's start, for example, with the C-Log 1, the regular C-Log. We can choose whether we want to use the standard C-Log 1 or a different profile that you will find into the C-Log settings, which is called neutral. Well, actually, I shouldn't call it a profile of the C-Log. It's actually the matrix, color matrix, but it's kind of like a profile. <laughs> I made a video about the best settings to shoot in C-Log, even though I used the Canon EOS R for that video, the settings I show are good also for the Canon R6, for what concerns the regular standard C-Log 1. And for what concerns C-Log 3, we have many different options, and we have so much control over the colors of what we're filming, like including color space. I show you the different options for the color space or color spaces in a different video. You can click the card here if you want to see, if you want to watch that video. And, but in this one, I just want to show you the difference, what happens when we shoot in C-Log and we color grade it, and when we shoot in C-Log 3 and we color grade it. So we start first thing with C-Log ungraded. And now, C-Log with some basic color grading. Now, C-Log 3 ungraded. Now, C-Log 3 with some color grading. Let's compare them.
So, what do you think about it? Leave a comment down below, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And check the links in the description to see all my gear stuff and things, my gear. So, this was a short video, I mean, not a short, because I'm also doing a lot of shorts, like, yeah, I'm doing shorts a lot, but this is not gonna be a short. As you can see, it's horizontal, not vertical, so not a short. But that's all I had to say for today. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Exposure is good. So we don't want like this, yeah. And tonight I'll be watching a soccer game. With my favorite team. Which one is my favorite team? It's not Real Madrid or Atletico or any Spanish team because I'm not Spanish and I don't have any Spanish origins. Michael, what are you doing? I'm gonna play with my son.